We're losing so much farmland across America and you know every acre's got to produce more. So, you know, I'm constantly trying to figure out a, you know, an economical way to increase yield. It's gonna benefit for years to come. Farming is inherently going to pull resources out of your system. When you apply something, a plant will take it up and you're transporting that plant, you know, hundreds of miles away. So you're you're always gonna have a loss from your system. Plus soils are inherently porous, so you'll always have water pulling through and pulling amendments out of your soil. So in order to have a productive crop, you have to apply new amendments to, to keep your soil fertility up. So if you're going to apply them, you might as well apply something that you also think will help the climate. We're doing a research plot on putting down biochar, basalt, ag lime, and chicken litter. Basalt, we know that when you dissolve that basalt, you'll have an increase in cation release, and that'll lead to an increase in your inorganic carbon storage within your soils. Biochar, chicken litter, we expect those to be more soil organic carbon. That's not soil, that's, that's the basalt that you're looking at. So you're applying that on the field, and then that basalt's able to break down and become part of your soil and, and move through the soil um, onto rivers and into oceans where it eventually is going to be permanent carbon removal. It's pretty great. <laughs> Yale wanted to do this project on my land, said it kind of was qualified exactly what they wanted. So that's how it started and been about a year now doing it and just, you know, trying a bunch of different things. So thinking about you know, if I increase my basalt application, what are my pH increases and what are my agronomic increases? But if I also add biochar and also add chicken litter, mimicking local practices, what are, what are the practical effects of that? How is my carbon going to increase inorganically, organically, and what's going to be the ultimate benefit for um, the farm itself? Crop yields, soil fertility, pH is really the big driver. And how long will those effects last as well? I've become a, a firm believer in climate change. You know, I kind of at first thought, you know, it may not be, you know, a whole lot to it, to be honest. But after learning and seeing the research and, you know, I've kind of come to the conclusion that it's a, it's a big thing. And, you know, we're trying to save who we have here and preserve it and, you know, be better stewards of the land. The reason why we're researching basalt so much is because of that carbon removal aspect that can help that can help farmers in some way as well. So when you apply it um, and sell that carbon credit, you can then be subsidized to um, apply that amendment more. And that can be a major gain for farmers, right? When giving a subsidy, helping, you know, helping with the land, that's, that's the whole point. We did hundreds of acres, probably, you know, over a thousand acres last year, you know, in this program. And we saw a significant yield bump in soybeans. So we think it's, it's a good thing. Farmers, you know, care about yield and, you know, everybody wants to brag about the yield. So I feel like every farmer would be interested in it.